Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name's Georgina and I'm the Honest Vocal Coach. I teach singing all day every day when I'm not making videos like this one and if you want to work with me you can. I have an online singing course plus a free breathing course. All the links are down below and if you like what you see today give me a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> So it's come to that time already. We've been looking at Atomic Kitten over the last three or four weeks, deciding who's the best singer. Now, as we know, the original lineup was Kerry, Natasha and Liz. Then Kerry left, could have been pushed, but anyway, that's another story. Then we had Jenny, Natasha and Liz. Jenny took Kerry's place. So I have put together what I think is the best, I would say the best order of singers from Atomic Kitten, who I think is the strongest. And we're gonna go from the weakest right through to the strongest. So let's dive in. <laughs> So my number four from Atomic Kitten has to be Kerry. Unfortunately, she was never the strongest in the band. Her vocals were unfortunately quite weak, but she must have had them in the first place to have got in the band. The backing singer was actually better than she was in that clip there. Uh, she really couldn't get those low notes at all. It was almost like she was talking. Now this is definitely long after Atomic Kitten, you know, after the band had split up, but even when she was with the band, unfortunately she didn't have the strongest voice. But she did make up that original, you know, the original lineup. Her vocals are definitely better in that clip, much, much better. But unfortunately, she doesn't have great breath control. Her tone is quite plain. There doesn't seem to be a lot going on in her voice. So, who's my number three? Every girl wants you to be a man But I'll wait right here till it's my turn The breath control there is really not great and with all respect to Atomic Kitten this is probably one of their worst performances. Uh, unfortunately everything went wrong that day from sound to choreography and all the rest of it. Um, but with Jenny's voice it's quite plain. It seems to be that she's more suited to the harmonies rather than having any lead vocals. It's a Now, I can't remember this single at all. I honestly can't remember it coming out. Obviously, it did happen, but I'm sorry, I just don't remember it. Probably because it wasn't the strongest song in the world either. And that was definitely lip synced. It was uh, one of those morning shows where, you know, you turn up and sort of lip sync for your life. Right, so who's my number two? Now it seems that Liz is a natural alto. I think she's definitely those lower notes. She's got a velvety sound to her voice. It's definitely warm. She's also got a really nice vibrato and I actually think that Liz's voice has developed really well over the years. I actually, having looked at some of these reunion uh, videos, she was better 
now than she was when she started. She seems to have more maturity to her voice. That's really lovely actually, I thought the harmonies really helped the song, gave it a definite sort of full feeling. Now Liz also had a solo single out but it was actually Woman in Love, Barbara Streisand. Eee, you just don't touch Barbara Streisand do you? It's like, you know, there's certain songs you just leave alone. Not very good agility on that wall. It didn't really have much. Uh, dis there just wasn't a enough tonal quality to it for me. Uh, and it all seems a little bit cheesy, waving to the kids and stuff. It's Woman in Love. It's supposed to be a classic song. Right, so who's going to be my number one? It's pretty obvious who's going to be number one from Atomic Kitten. It's got to be Natasha Hamilton. She is Atomic Kitten. Literally, she is. She held that band together. Her voice was the one thing that really gelled the whole thing together. Sounds harsh, but I think you could have changed around the other girls, but as long as Natasha was there, you'd have been quite happy to stay with it. There be worked on this show just the two of us so I had to put a clip of it in um, I was actually the vocal coach behind the scenes I got to work with Tash I also just missed out on working with Marty Pello uh, and it was a brilliant show so if you do want to look back some of it actually is on uh, YouTube uh, the songs that I worked on was She's the One Robbie Williams 9 to 5 as well and this one, although I did miss out on being in the same room as Marty Pello, totally gutted. If anyone should ever ride. So I never thought that Tash was actually a jazz singer, but having done just the two of us with her, I knew that she could sing more than just pop. She definitely had some more sort of versatility that I knew, but this is her doing a little bit of a jazz kind of soulful song. Nice bit of distortion there. Cause you're the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. So that is who I think the best singer of Atomic Kitten is. So let me just go over it again. We've got 
Kerry, she's number four. And fortunately, she must have been strong when she started or they wouldn't have had her in the band in the first place. And she just, ah, oh, the, the personalities of the three girls in the very early days was just so infectious. And they they did so well in the beginning. Then, unfortunately, Kerry left. She was replaced by Jenny. And I felt that, you know, vocally, Jenny wasn't that much stronger than Kerry anyway. Um, but both of them were definitely harmonies singers they weren't really you know they weren't leads let's just say that then we've got number two which was Liz now she's got a beautiful voice very kind of warm I would say an alto nice vibrato and the maturity definitely advanced throughout the years and you can tell by the previous clips that I've looked at and finally my number one Atomic Kitten is Natasha Hamilton. Great voice, so very distinctive, and it stood the test of time. She's had quite a long career, so good for her. So do you agree with this top four? Do let me know in the comments below. And which band are we going to do next? Is it going to be a girl band, a boy band? I don't know. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, loves. <laughs>